I'm Sean Kays, principal at Course County High School. Welcome to all of our freshmen and new students. Typically, we would have you here in the building for an orientation where we can explain your schedule face to face. We've decided this year it's safer to do a video. I'd like to introduce my administrative staff here at Course County High School. First, John Griggs, associate principal. John is over discipline and many other things. Next, I'd like to introduce Brad Thomason. Brad Thomason is over CTE, dual credit, and AP. Next, I'd like to introduce Kenya Landers. Ms. Landers is over attendance and also our girls athletic coordinator. Assistant principal, Ms. Tiffany Martin. Ms. Martin is over discipline for many of our grade levels and also over special education. Next, I'd like to introduce Maria Kristen, assistant principal over ESL and ELL learners. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Karen Kopp, Dean of Teacher Support, but also available for all of our students. I'd also like to introduce Mrs. Shauna Franklin, who is not available today. She'll be assisting with ours in special education. This is my administrative team. I'm proud of them. Uh, one thing that we always emphasize is that our door is always open for every single one of our students and community. Now I'd like to introduce our student support counselors. First, Ms. Tiffany Warren. Our next student support counselor is Caitlin Trevino. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Andrea Bork. Our student support counselors are here for our students' emotional needs and are available whenever you need them. Next, I'd like to introduce our academic counselors. First, Gary Dobbs, last name letters A through D-I. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Tara Pajinski, who is not with us today. Last name letters D-O through L-A. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Tracy Moore. Last letters L-E through R-A. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Lauren Underberg. Last name letters R-E through Z. These are our academic counselors and are available for all of your academic needs whenever you need them. Hello, I'm Scott Stevens. I am the Chief of Police for the Corsicana ISD Police Department. Uh, my office is out here at the high school, so you'll be seeing a lot of me. Welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, there's fellow officers that also work out here at the high school with me. One of them you can hear is our K-9 Holly and the K-9 Handler Officer Adam Richter. Uh, he's housed back in the Cape Building uh, at the high school. Back over here to my right is Lieutenant Eric Cuellar. Uh, he is also housed here at the high school in the front office uh, next to uh, my office. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, we want you to know that we're here for you. We're here to keep you safe and we want you to all be successful. If you need us, come to us. We'll take care of you. Thank you. Students, I'm in the horseshoe in the front of the school. On the first day, when you arrive, if you're a car rider or if you drive your own car, we're gonna have tables right out here so you can pick up a fresh schedule. After you pick it up, you'll walk through the front doors and can proceed to the Commons for breakfast. Students, welcome to Course County High School Commons. This is where you'll eat your breakfast and lunch. It looks a little different than it did last year. We wanted to emphasize safety and being able to socialize while you eat. If you get here before 7.30 and want breakfast, you'll be able to grab it and sit at a table. After 7.45, you'll grab your breakfast and you'll go to your first period class. Students, this is our bus ramp. Behind me, you can see the tennis courts, softball field, and baseball field. On the first day of school, when you get off the bus, your schedules will be right here for you. Pick one up and go into the commons and you can have breakfast if you like. Students, I'm down here in A Hall. We've made some changes in the hallways that focus on safety. 
One of these changes are these dividers. These dividers are gonna help us stay on the correct side of the hallway and keep traffic moving efficiently. Students, I'm up here in the front office and I wanna introduce you to our two front office secretaries. This is Mrs. Shelby Davis and Mrs. Rhonda Armstrong. If your parents or guardians call up here, these two wonderful ladies will answer the phone and answer any question that they might have or connect them with any staff member that they need to talk to. Students, I'm up here in the nurse station with our Course County High School nurse, Casey Ward. Hi everyone, I'm Nurse Ward. Some things to remember for this upcoming school year are that if you're feeling sick, make sure that you stay home. Or if you're at school and start feeling sick, make sure and come by my office and see me. I'm also here for any other medical needs. Oh, hey, what's up? My name is Kate Keithley and I'm gonna be a senior here at the Corsicana High School. And I'm gonna give you a campus tour. But before we go, we need to make sure on the first day of school that we are wearing a collared shirt, khaki and black pants, closed head shoes, and a school ID, plus your mask. Let's go! All of our halls here at Crystal Kenna High School go from A through G. So if you're in A through G 100, then you're downstairs. But, ugh. now, if you're A through G 200, then you're upstairs. Hey, upstairs on C Hall, we have the Tiger Lab. It's a quiet place to work on tests, do homework, and get extra help. Here in the main hallway, we have the commons, where you can eat breakfast and lunch. We also have the ghost center next to us, where you can talk to counselors. And we have the library behind me, where you have access to technology and books. I just got dancing with Miss Lassiter and all the girls. If you're gonna take drill team or dance this year, this is where you're gonna be. This is the Kate building, but on your schedule, it's gonna say H Hall. It has classes like AV Tech, Culinary Arts, Automotives, and all the Turning Points labs are down the hall. Down the breezeway, we have J Hall. If you're taking any agricultural science classes or floral design, this is where you're gonna go. Here at the competition gym, you have PE, pep rallies, volleyball, and home games. Students, this is Mr. Kays again, principal at Course County High School. On your screen, you will have a picture of our bell schedule at Course County High School for this year. I want to point out a couple things on this bell schedule and how you can read it. As you can see, first, second, third, and so forth periods. First period begins at 8.20, ends at 9.10. The next period, second period, starts at 9.14. That means you have four minutes to get from first period class to your second period class. You also notice down at fifth period, it is an, over an hour and a half long. That's because fifth period is our lunch period. Your lunch period is decided by what class you are in during fifth period, and your teacher will let you know that on the first day of school. As you can see, you get 30 minutes at lunch. When lunch ends, and as you're going back to class, our custodians will have six minutes to sanitize the tables in the commons. This is new this year. The next group, B lunch, will not come down while, those, uh, while the custodians are cleaning. They will come down at 1213. You'll have 30 minutes for B lunch till 1243 and so on. I'd also like to, you to look at the top, canvas time. This is gonna act kind of like a study hall. So in the morning, 
as breakfast is wrapping up and our commons is filling up, we will move you to your first period class. While you're there, you'll have your laptop and you can work on Canvas and do any work or read uh, that you may need to do for your classes. And then you can see that the period ends around 8.15 and at 8.20, first period will begin. At the end of the day, you'll see something called a staggered release. Staggered release means we will be releasing kids at the end of 8th period uh, based on how you go home. So we will come on the intercom, make an announcement, and ask for our car riders to leave. And then we may ask for students who drive their car and have parked in the student parking lot. And you will have specific e exits that we will show you. Then bus students will come down to the commons and go outside and wait for their buses. If you ever have any questions about your bell schedule, you can always ask your teacher, any administrator, or a counselor. Thank you.